After I came back from giving birth for my son, I had been suspecting that he was Yao. Before, 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 before I even came back to Nigeria, I had started to suspect. But the only thing that actually made me confirm was a night. He wasn't supposed to be home that night. And I slept early. Because of my son, I sleep early. And I went and I heard some noise upstairs in his room because I, my room is, he's in the penthouse and my room is under. So I, I heard the noise upstairs. Nobody was supposed to be in that room. So I was going to go check what was happening in the room. I opened up this room. I saw a full grown man wearing a red cloth in his waist with red candles everywhere around him with a laptop in his hand. Immediately I saw that. I just, I was, I was shocked. I was simply shocked. And I just, uh, I, I was shocked. I was not scared, but I was shocked. But I, I just started laughing like a mad person. I just started laughing. He got me. And that was one of the fights we fought after King. He, the, the, when, I lost my mis when I lost my pregnancy, he pushed me down a flight of three stairs. We were fighting. Now, people will say, you know what, Tonto, why did you stay and you fought so long and you are fighting? This man is hitting you and you're fighting and you're not leaving. Domestic violence, it's not always very easy for you to walk away from. And don't forget the fact that everybody wanted this relationship to fail, even you that's watching it. You told yourself, you told your mother, you told your father, you told your sisters, you told your brothers that Tonto's marriage was not going to last. So how would I have left a marriage that you thought was not going to last? Would I not have worked so, so at least to a little extent to make it work, even if I was dying? A lot of people are going through this. Most of you sitting at home, even criticizing me, you are going through this. They are beating you every day and you are enjoying it because of your children's sake. I was, I was one of the only few people who could not. And I'm speaking out. And I would not be called a liar for speaking out. If you want to take this picture to America, to London, to Europe for forensic, I am in. Yes, um, I gave the court substantial amount of proof. I'm just going to show you just a little bit of one of some things I would wake up and find under my pillow, under my son's bed, on top of my son's novel. This is a conversation between myself and this, my son's father's younger brother when I was saying that they need to come and take this shit out of my home because I left. I've left, yeah, I've left him now. I've, I've divorced him already. So I, I said they need to come and break whatever cut is on this shit. And um, I gave the cut. Uh, yes, the cut actually does not admit that ball is in. But the strength of my accusation make them worry for concern about my child. Because it's a, it's a boy's life. I can, if I can speak and I can talk and this is all they did to me, I would wake up. His, I mean, his mother was, every, we were married for, we were, he said we were married for, we, we lived together for, for six months, but we lived together for 10 months after marriage because I came back from um, America two months after I gave birth, February. Two months was February, March, April, April, and I divorced him and I left his house by December. So that's nine, 10 months, right? So he said it was six months. I don't know where his head was, though, but he said it was six months and I'm saying it was nine stroke 10 months that we live together and in that 10 9 to 10 months his mother was there maybe like five times and she would stay for like maybe two weeks one is okay family is okay i i did not worry about that my, my concern was the spiritual artifact that this woman would bring into the house all the time that was only the time when i became defensive or i became disrespectful to any member of his family when it came to that because i always always spoke up i never kept quiet about it. I always spoke up. So we always had fights about it. I also have documents of him telling me how he wants to go back. I'm sure all of those things will come up on, on this, how he wants to, um, how he was going to borrow money from me so he can go and do some jazz. I have all the documents here. Because he has a daughter already who he says that he doesn't have. I mean, he came, to, he came out and said that he has no child apart from King. This man has a child. And the mother of this child is jealously protecting the girl. Not to even be close to them. Because we all know, I, for one, I got married to him, so I know who he is. Churchill is a very selfish, manipulative person. This is a man that would insult his own mother 
call her all sorts of names. Treat her as though she was, or reply her. He was, he, he, he was, he was, he was a terrible person, so to speak. He's a very terrible person. And the only thing he cares about, and that's why anytime we fought, anytime he hit me and he beat me, I would always go to his jazz drawer, I would break his jazz, or I would go to his clothes where he has his designers. I would break them. Or I would break his laptop because I know that was the only thing that affected him. And I can remember clearly, he said it in his interview the first time. He's still with the same Azuka. And I also have documents of me telling Azuka. There's a document here. I said Azuka. I said, I would, I'm, I'm born again and I would not lie that I never broke properties. Anytime I was beaten, my revenge was to go back and break everything. So yes, I broke properties. I destroyed properties. He can do anything to anybody because he wants to be rich. There's actually something I'm not going to say. I'm just, I will wait to be pushed. I will wait, I will wait, I will wait to be pushed. There's something I saw between him and his mother. But I will wait, Churchill, to be pushed. Pushed. I have said it once in a message. It was there. Maybe people will forget about it. But I will wait to be pushed. Now, for 419 Yahoo, you know, you go online, you dupe white women, you go online, you dupe people. That's what my son's father does. I'm not proud of it. I'm saying, I told you, I said, this interview is mainly not for Nigerians. It, I want my son to grow. I'm not, I'm not the kind of mother that's going to hide things from her son. No, my son will know everything and the whole truth. I'm not going to lie to him, but then I'm not going to hide things from him. So yes, my son's father is a fraud. He does Yahoo. How I know? Because I caught him in the middle of a red candle with, with laptop in his lap and a red pants on, and a red cloth tied around his waist. Not just that. I mean, coming from the house we stayed in when I was married to him, this man told everybody that he bought the house. He didn't buy this house. This house was rented. This approved that he, it was rented. This approved of conversation between me and the agent when the agent did not do something right in the house. I told him how much we paid for rent. Everything is there. I, t I told him how much he paid for rent, and this is the conversation of, of the landlord himself. This is a conversation from the landlord himself. He said, look at it. This is, this here is from the landlord. So, different things, different things. I know he's 419 because I know he's 419. He's on the streets. Go to Ghana and ask about him. He says he's into IT. Please, what, what has he done? What is the IT? Let me know. What IT work has this man done? Why would you buy a car and your name is not on the car? You see how this thing about the fraud money? You see, I've led him to know a, 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 little, some, a few things. When they cannot bring in money into Nigeria from fraud, they buy cars. So it is very easy for you to say a Yahoo boy has cars. But it is very hard for you to say a Yahoo boy has properties and that's one thing that he's, was his problem. When he, he, he's out of money for so long, Yahoo does not pay for so long, a mate that Yahoo pays, he wants to buy clothes, he wants to buy this, he forgets to invest. Even the house in Ghana that this man told me, lied to me, that he owns the house in Ghana. Now, this is a message. This is a message between I and the, the agent. The agent came to my page on Instagram to embarrass the life out of me. Called me a very dirty woman. Called me how useless and how stupid and how disgusting my ex-husband was. I only got to read it and read it and read it. This is the agent who rented the house this man lied that he bought in Ghana. The man even told me in this message, he said, your son's clothes are lying down everywhere. I didn't know that, the, that my son's father had taken his property and ran away from the home. I didn't know that. So they were asking him for the, they were actually asking me that we should come and pay for the balance of whatever rent and also we should come and clean up and arrange and, and um, put together their home back how they gave it to us. I also, and on this, I, I gave the man, I gave the man his mother's phone number. I said, call this phone number. But I bet you the woman will tell you she does not know the boy, but that is his mo mother. 
passed the message. He came back and said, I called the number. It was a London number because the mother stays in London. It was a number, London number. I gave him the correct number for his mother. His mother said he, he, she does not know a church here. And off the phone. Two days later, that phone went off because I had already casted the number online. So people were already calling the number. Two days later, they changed the phone. This is his mother in on the same scam. The first time I met them, the mother told me she's a messenger's wife. He's a scam. He told me he's a son. He's a scam. He was a Liberian for a messenger. His father, God bless his soul, even if I did not know him, I'm not sure I would have hated him totally. This is his father. This is who his father is. His father was a gardener that graduated into being a spiritual leader. This is his father. This man has never, for one day, he always puts a passenger on the passenger's bed. Uh, a happy birthday, daddy. Even the, even the brother. If you go to his page, you will see him and the passenger, daddy. I came to see daddy. Not for one day have they ever posted this man's picture because they were scamming people and they were passenger's son. This is his father. No relationship with a passenger. If this man had a relationship with a passenger, I would be the happiest girl on earth. Because it's a name that my son will inherit and work on to be a better person in life. This is his father. When I went for the first time I knew that he was not, I had always suspected because I was the one spending. I told you, I said, why, why we met, he was broke. He started having money after I left to go and give birth. That's when the first year who ever money came when I know him. That's the first time I ever knew him with money because that was when he paid for the, um, I think it was eight, eight million, there was a 16 million naira apartment we stayed in for two years rent. So that was, that was the first time his money came in. That was the first time, the, uh, the car was the first time. The car was the first time money came and everything started to happen for him. So every other thing, I was the one trying to do it for him. So yes, this is his father. You see the same with him. My son looks like him somehow. Yes, I did. The first day I was going to be introduced to a with my... I had two introductions and one traditional wedding. The first introduction was for a passenger. The second was for my parents. So the first introduction, the, I was already pregnant. I was three months pregnant when I met a passenger. The first thing I met him, he told me, he's not my son. Pump and pee. The man does not hide his mouth, but he's like my son. I remember when I went back home, I looked at the mother, I looked at the son. I said, why did you lie? Why did they lie? You see, they, they hate me so much for my boldness. That family because I called the both of them I said why did you lie as long as there was a relationship as long as this man can stand in and say he is like a son why would you ever lie that was where I, I stood in to now when I said you know what okay I would not be the one to break it out that's why when I went when, there was an interview online that when it said I showed them they said is he your best and your son I said yes if you see my body language I was very uncomfortable and that was a week after I just gave birth to my son. In fact, my mother-in-law was upstairs right there, holding my son, looking down at me when I was doing that interview. God bless this boy. His name is Bode. Bode is Golden Icons. He is the owner of Golden Icons. Golden Icons is an award. And it's a TV too, and that's the TV that recorded me. I said a lot of things in that video. And because Bode wanted to... You know, but then knows I've had, a, I've had a hard time with the press, with the media. And I just gave birth. He wanted things to be easy for me. So he sent me before he posted it. And I sent it back to the man I was married to that time. And he said, you know what? No, they'll catch us here. Move here. We'll move here. You can confirm this from Bode. He is a media person now. Bode is a blogger because he, he, he does all this interview. So there's, he, can, he will not cover up for me. There are so many other things I said that would have implicated me and people that say, oh, ooh, that when I gave it back to my son's father, he said, you know what, let's take it away, let's take this away, let's take it away. And that's how you saw that short video. I was not going to be the one who was going to make a family secret that they've been using to eat food. Because that's, that's the means they're using eating in Lagos. 
I am a better just son.